Hi everyone and welcome to our video on some exam questions related to cell biology. Our first exam question states, a student prepared some animal cells to view using a microscope. Figure 1 shows the student preparing the cells. Name two pieces of laboratory equipment the student could have used to prepare cells to view using a microscope. So we just need to name two pieces of equipment. In the figure we can see a slide and we can see a cover slip so we can use these two pieces of equipment to view the cell using the microscope so all you need to write is slide and cover slip you could have also had a stain remember a stain helps you see the cells more clearly because it adds color to the cells and that would get you two marks Okay, figure two shows the student's light microscope. Name part A. So part A is known as the eyepiece lens. So eyepiece lens. Okay. Next question. What is the function of part B? So if you have a look, part B is focused at the another lens and this helps you focus the image so part b is focusing the image so the function is it focuses the image so it can be seen more clearly okay and that would get you one mark. Okay, the student tried to look at the cell using the microscope. So just one reason why the student could not see any cells when through uh, when looking through part A. So part A was the eyepiece lens. If the student couldn't see any cells, that could mean that the microscope hasn't been focused. So we can link back to part three of the question and we can say the microscope hasn't been focused so the microscope hasn't been focused okay a six marker now red blood cells are specialized animal cells compare the structure of a red blood cell with the structure of a plant cell now the keyword here it says structure so we need to be talking about the structure and not the function okay so if we draw a table so we have red blood cells and we have plant cells so red blood cells have no nucleus so there's more space to carry oxygen it contains hemoglobin it's a red pigment of the red blood cell so hemoglobin red blood cells also have a bioconcave disc okay now plant cells they have chloroplasts, they have a vacuole, and they also have a cell wall. Okay, so we've compared the structure there. Now let's look at some similarities between the red blood cell and the plant cell. So both of them have a cell membrane. So both have a cell membrane and both of them also have cytoplasm that's why you could have said that now plant cells they're bigger than red blood cells so you could have also said that red blood cells are smaller than plant cells so smaller than plant cells okay and that there will get you the six marks 
okay because we've drawn the table and we've looked at the differences and the similarities okay we have compared red blood cells to plant cells okay next question it says when placed into a beaker of water red blood cells burst a plant cell does not burst explain why the red blood cell burst but the plant cell does not burst so remember if we look at the structure again red blood cells have no cell wall and plant cells they have a cell wall okay so it's talking about water so we need to say how the water enters the cell so water enters the cell by osmosis plant cells have a cell wall so will not burst to prevent the cell from bursting okay and that there will get you two marks okay next question a student investigated the effectiveness of three different antibiotics figure three shows how the student set up an agar plate so we've given uh, figure three there the student used aseptic techniques to make sure that only one type of bacterium was growing on the agar plate it says describe two aseptic, uh, aseptic techniques the student should have used so again it's to pre uh, to make sure that only one bacterium is growing so you could have sterilized all the equipment to make sure that all other forms of bacteria were killed so sterilize all equipment to make sure any harmful bacteria or microbes have been killed and another technique is to make sure that the the petri dish has been taped on or the agar plate has been taped on with adhesive tape so the lid sorry the lid of the plate should be taped on with adhesive tape and this is to prevent any bacteria from entering so prevents any bacteria from surrounding from entering in okay and that would get you two marks there okay the student placed the agar plate in an incubator at 25 degrees for 48 hours figure 4 shows the agar plate after 48 hours okay and we're given figure 4 there it says which antibiotic is the least effective so as you can see quite obviously it's b which is least effective because it killed the least amount of bacteria so least effective antibiotic is b reason it has killed 
the least amount of bacteria okay and that would get you one mark now it says a five marker calculate the area where no bacteria were growing for antibiotic C and we're using pi is 3.14 so if you have a look through uh, C is over here the part where bacteria hasn't been growing is all this part over here okay so this part the whole circle is the part where the bacteria hasn't been growing and that includes this white part over here and this and this inside sort of gray part that's the part where bacteria hasn't been uh, growing so if we go down all we need is the diameter and the radius for this whole circle so you should realize that the diameter is 2.2 centimeters if you measure it out so the diameter is 2.2 centimeters that means the radius is going to be 1.1 centimeters to work as the area of the whole circle you would do 3.14 or pi multiplied by the radius 1.1 and you would square it okay and again you can just type that into your calculator that would get you an answer of 3.7994 okay so we can just write that down or we can round it so area is we won't round it let's keep it exact 3.7994 and it says the units we've used centimeters and we've worked out the area so it's going to be centimeters squared okay final question suggest one way the student could improve the investigation so improving the investigation you can repeat Calculate the mean and remove any anomalous results. Okay, but you only need one way. So you could have said repeat and calculate mean or re uh, repeat and remove any anomalous results. And that would get you one more. And that is it for this video thanks for watching i hope you liked it and one last thing please subscribe hit the like button and the notification bell